Hey mathematics learners, welcome to distance learning with Lee, where I make learning mathematics super easy. So on today's video tutorial, guys, we are going to be tackling question 2.1 um, from the grade 12 mathematical literacy paper 2 that was written in June 2023, right? And in this question, guys, we're going to be dealing with um, plans, right? Um, in particular, we're going to be dealing with assembly, right? So this um, topic, you guys have done it a lot in school where you have to basically look at a diagram, right? And you need to follow instructions that are given to you about how a particular item is assembled, right? Or put together. So that is basically what we are going to be looking at um, in this question, okay? So before we get started with today's video tutorial, guys, please make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. Please make sure that you click on that notification bell so that you get notified every single time I upload a new video tutorial, guys. And also, please don't forget to give these video tutorials a huge thumbs up because it really helps the channel grow and it helps the channel to reach more learners that want to better their mathematics marks. So without any further ado, guys, let's get Get started with today's video tutorial. So from, I think at this point, right, right, if you are writing your paper two, you should know that you should score total in your question one, right? Question one is just your level one uh, questions. You should get total with um, those questions. Just focus, make sure that you highlight your keywords, right? If you do that, you will get total. And if you just understand the basics, calculating volume, calculating area, calculating parameter, calculating surface area, what are the formulas involved with doing those calculations? If you just know your definitions, right? You just understand everything that you guys have done in your class. Just, just an understanding of those concepts. You should be able to do well. If you just can do your basic conversions, you should be okay with your question one. You should get like an 80% for just question one. All right, let's have a look at question two. Now we're going on to your assembly, all right? Assembling is also still a nice, easy topic because you're just interpreting a diagram that is given to you and you're just trying to see what is happening in step A, what is happening at step B, following the instructions, all right? Looking at the information that is given to you. If you're able to do that, then you can just do well also with your assembly, right? And as you can see, it counts. 10 marks okay so that's a lot of more it just needs you to focus okay let's have a look cushion 2.1 ring lights are the best lighting option for close-up photography and videography ring lights are used for projects like makeup sessions so a lot of you guys are aware of ring lights um right um you know that a lot of people use ring lights to basically create content or content creators right you know Ring lights just make your videos look way better because it lights up um your videos, okay? So everyone is very familiar with ring lights, right? I think everyone knows what a ring light is, so that shouldn't be a problem then, okay? So it says that an extra B shows the item list and assembly instructions for a ring light. Some of the instructions have been omitted, okay? So we are told that this an extra B basically gives us the item lists right and the assembly instructions so let's basically see what is the item list that is given to us here this is the item list right we are given a ring light we are given a tripod right we know that a tripod we know that your ring light actually goes on top of your tripod okay we've got your pen tilt your pen tilt helps you tilt your um ring light um, to suit whatever angle that you want to record in, right? We've got the cell phone holder. Okay, this is what holds your cell phone or your camera or whatever. And then you've got your pen tilters right there as well. Okay, then we're given your um, assembly instructions. So the first thing you need to do is you need to prepare the pen tilt and the cell phone holder. Then the second thing is that you install the cell phone holder on the pen tilt, tightening it as shown in the direction of the arrow so what is the arrow doing 
do you see that the arrow is going around in the clockwise direction okay so guys when i talk about clockwise direction look at your clock right especially if you've got your um analog clock that has that long arm that is constantly moving around it moves that arm moves in a clockwise direction so when you talk about clockwise direction we're talking about that movement right going in that direction okay if i said anti-clockwise i'd be moving in the opposite direction right so that is what we're talking about so we see that arrow there is moving in a clockwise direction we give them the c where they say you loosen the bottom screw and leave a gap for easy installation on the ring light then we give in d where they are basically now mounting the they mount the assembled cell phone holder on the ring of the ring light then you give an e you need to press the clamp with your finger and rotate until tightened is shown above then you give an a what i mean if what is happening there at f you need to figure that out what is happening there g you need to basically write what is happening there at h what is happening there and then the i is basically the completed assembly right so that is basically our next chip b that is our item list and also the instructions that are given to us okay question 2.1.1 says determine the total number of items that are needed to assemble the ring light easy peasy right what are the total number of items that are needed to assemble this ring light okay here guys don't go and now look at the number of instructions that are given okay they're talking about how many items do you need to assemble this ring light already they tell you you need the ring light you need the tripod you need the pencils you need the cell phone holder you need the pencils right so you need two pencils so how many items do we have here in total we just have five items okay so in this case the total number of items needed to assemble the ring light is five items okay we need five items all right let's go on to the next question question 2.1.2 it says identify in the list the item that will be used as the ring light stand what item would be used as the ring light stand right also here if you were to look at the completed assembly what is used to hold up our ring lights what is that right so we see that what is used to hold up our ring lights is what the tripod okay so we're basically going to write the tripod okay so for question 2.1.2 it is the tripod okay nice easy marks right let's go to question 2.1.3 is the direction of the arrow in diagram B clockwise or anti-clockwise right so let's go to diagram B and determine is that direction clockwise or anti-clockwise okay so let's see right the direction of the arrow we can see that the arrow is going in that direction do you see that okay and I mentioned that if we are going in that direction right that is the clockwise direction if we were going in that direction opposite direction do you see that this is the anti-clockwise right direction okay and i even said that you can also just look at your clock at home right if you have an analog clock the long arm that is moving that is the direction that is a clockwise direction hence the word clock wise right okay so we can see that with the b right this direction that has been shown to us right it's moving in the clockwise direction do you see that okay so then we can give our answer as question 2.1.3 it's moving in the clockwise direction okay let's go into the next question question 2.1.4 it says match the following instructions with the correct picture okay so here we basically want to match the correct instruction the clamp when you have when you clamp the cell phone to the cell phone holder is that f is that g or is that h if you install the tripod on the pencil and rotate until tighten which one is that okay because we are see here with the instructions right certain instructions were left certain diagrams were left without any instructions so we need to determine what is going on who's who in the zoo here right so what is happening at f do you see that then at f right okay um 
it looks like he's basically putting or screwing on the ring light to the pen tilt okay for g you also see that he's screwing on the tripod to the pen tilt do you see that and then for h they're putting on the cell phone um hold up onto our pen tilt and also putting cell phone onto the cell phone holder so we need to look at something along those lines okay so let's see previous okay what is when they clamped the cell phone to the cell phone holder which stage what is where did that happen where they were clamping the cell phone to the cell phone holder okay where they were clamping the cell phone to the cell phone holder do you see that that was h okay so your 2.1.4 right that is your h okay so your 2.1.4 a that is your h because we see there and the h they are basically um clamping the cell phone to the cell phone holder we can see oh they're putting the cell phone actually putting on the cell phone on the cell phone holder okay then question b install the tripod on the pen tilt and rotate until tightened. So where are they basically installing the tripod on the pen tilt? So we can go back, right? And you can see here they're not putting on the tripod, right? They're just putting on the ring light onto the pen tilt. So it's definitely not that one, okay? Here, do you see that they're screwing on the tripod onto what the pen tilt, okay? So therefore we can see that Question 2.1.4b, right? That is our G, okay? Because in G, we see that they're screwing on that tripod onto the pen tilt, okay? So that is our G there. All right, so nice and easy question we're done in less than 10 minutes. I hope you guys enjoyed this question. In the next um, tutorial, guys, we are going to be looking at question 2.2 in question 2.2 guys deals with your map scales right where you have to convert a distance or an actual distance into or the actual length into what is the length on a map right so and we're going to be working with the number scale okay so if you know that you struggle with those concepts please make sure that you watch this entire video tutorial because I'm going to be showing you how we can tackle this question in detail. And that is it, guys. And I'll see you guys on my next upload, Distance Learning with Lee, where I make learning mathematics super easy. Bye, guys.